Let's solve an interesting geometry problem, which is also called one of the Sengaku problems. These problems have long history, as they are often called as Japanese temple problems. Now, in this problem, given the line L, we draw two identical circles with a radius R. And in between these two circles, we draw a small square side length T. Now we are to express T in terms of R. So let's look at a solution to this problem. So first, let's name the two centers of the two circles as X and Y respectively. Now, to solve this problem, we want to relate R and T. And in general, when you want to solve these kinds of problems, we want to create a right angle triangle so that we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. We see that if we draw a tangent line towards the line L, we know that this line is equal to R. Now let's draw a perpendicular line to this line from a corner of the square. We see that this length is equal to T and this length is R minus T. And now our goal is to find this length so that we can have a right angle triangle. And also this is 90 degrees. We can note that since these two circles are identical, the tangent line from the point of tangency must meet at the midpoint of the smaller square. So now let me name this point as A, this point as B, and this point as C. We can see that the line AB has the length R minus T over 2. And so you can see that the triangle AXB is a right angle triangle. And so we can apply the Pythagoras theorem, which states that R minus T squared plus R minus T over 2 whole thing squared is equal to R squared. Expanding this out, we get that R squared minus 2RT plus T squared plus R squared minus RT plus T squared divided by 4 is equal to R squared. You can see that we can cancel R squared from both sides. And let's group the terms with T squared together. So we get that 5 times by T squared over 4 minus 3RT plus r squared equals to 0. Multiplying the whole thing by 4, we get 5t squared minus 12rt plus 4r squared equals to 0. And we can actually factorize this. We get that 5t minus 2r times by t minus 2r equals to 0. And obviously, this is not equal to zero is because t is less than r. Therefore, 5t is equal to 2r. And we have that t is equal to 2 over 5 times by r. And so we are done.